in the land of grills. <laughs> How y'all doing, folks? We got the pit boss, portable pellet grill out there, folks, today. And we're using smoking pecan. We're using a lot of different things today. We got, remember, this is made out of pecan shells. Not, not, not pecan wood, pecan shells. And you know how I love <laughs> mock chicken legs. And uh, that's what I got. I've, I've got a grocery store in town that makes their own. They make them fresh. And it, it's like uh, an every other month routine with me where I just get the urge for mock chicken legs. And the name of the store, it's kind of a chain here in the Midwest and it's called Sendex and they make their own and they're so good. You see the smoke rolling out of there. That pecan, I tell you what, the smell is so sweet. And when you were using smoking pecan, uh, remember this is pecan shells that they've, they have a patented process where they separate the inner shell from the outer shell. And then they, the outer shell is the one that's got all the oils and everything in it and uh it, it's sweet smell folks it's really good set at 225 give you a look all right so if you want to see what a mock chicken leg looks like now these are not they're, they're, you can buy some there, there's some companies that sell them that shape like mock chicken like chicken legs themselves they, they this couple like, like i said this grocery store chain and it's a small one they just they make their own they make them square and it uh it's got veal and pork. There's no chicken in it whatsoever. And then a seasoning in it. And there's a fair amount of fat in it. And that's why I can, and today we're gonna to do it on a bun. And it's gonna be oh so good. We're gonna get some smoke on there and then we're gonna turn them up and see if we can give them a little sear, a little brown on the outside. Folks, if you had never had a mock chicken leg before, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Let's keep on going. Here. All right, folks, you see smoke still on about a half an hour into it. Now, I, I wish I would love to do this for like two hours on smoke, but it's a weekday night. I don't have that kind of time. And I just turned it up to 300 and uh, we'll probably do that. And I'll show you how much smoke is making at 300. And then we'll probably go to 350 because I want to get a little browning on those uh, mock chicken legs. Oh, man. And you know what else? I'm going to put them on a bun with pickles and secret stadium sauce. <laughs> yes. You're saying right now that guy's crazy. Gonna be so good. I just wanna show you a 345 set of 350 and there's smoke. And that is, and, and you know you're saying, well, that's the Pit Boss. Well, it's a combination Pit Boss, smoke and pecan down to 340 right now. Counts by five degree in, in increments, but uh, I tell you what, to be even 340 in smoke and visible smoke, that's pretty impressive. I know it's not 350, but 345, <laughs> look at the smoke, unbelievable. All right, you can see smoke even at three, 385. Got it set at 400 now. If there's anything about the pit boss here is that uh, it, it goes through cycles. It's not like it's a, I know you're gonna say, Tom, it's a time cycle, but I, I believe it's a PID because when it gets to temp, it stays there. It just, they don't want it to overshoot. I don't think I've ever seen for a portable pellet grill I don't think I've ever seen this thing overshoot. It uh, does take some time though to get up the temps, but uh, I've been pretty impressed on how the fact that it doesn't overshoot. And the smoking pecan, <laughs> smoke rolling still at 385. That's impressive. I'm not sure if you can see this. I got set at 450. <laughs> smoking at 450. That's impressive. Well, I can smell the smoke. You can see a little bit of it set at 475. Reading 470, uh, that's pretty awesome. I think my uh, mock chicken legs got to be done by now. We're going to brown up a bun and put some pickles on there and give you a, a final look see. All right, there it is, our mock chicken legs. And we got pickles on there some of these famous days. Have you, have you tried this stuff? Sweet and spicy. And then, of course, if you watch Tom Horseman YouTube, you know, sweet uh, secret stadium sauce. And uh, we're going to take a bite out of this. It should be good and hot. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it almost looks like it has a little bit of smoke ring and I can taste those pecan shells on, I'll tell you what, folks, if you have the, ever have the opportunity, they have mock chicken legs, mock chicken. I, I'll tell you what, it's just phenomenal. If you live in Southeast, Eastern Wisconsin, you have a Sendex next star by, by your house. Go over and get the, the mock chicken. Thumbs up, leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.